very warm welcome to the Allianz Arena in Munich. And our live game is Paris Saint-Germain against Manchester United. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Begley. Surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Manchester United with another corner. And out to safety. Tomine. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Bruno Fernandes! Oh, what a save! He had a long way to go. Well, I thought his starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. Bruno Fernandes. De Gea gets it on the field. Pogba plays it out to the wing. Oh, he's got that all wrong, and it's a penalty. Paris Saint-Germain have conceded a penalty. <laughs> Saved it! Oh, it was such a poor penalty, he just never looked confident. Draxler, oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Rashford, still waiting for the game to take off here, nil-nil. Surely he scores! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Yeah, and he knew he had to get his efforts away before it had been closed down, but he could have sacrificed a little power then for a bit more accuracy. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo passes it through. McTominay. There's a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Looking to force his way through. They've scored! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Paris Saint-Germain draw first blood here. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Diogo Dallo tried to play it through. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Sancho. Cristiano Ronaldo, now the pass, he's played him through. 
chance. Diving header. Brave effort, total commitment. And he attacked that ball with real conviction. Just such a pity about the end result. McTominay picks it up from the goal kick. Deftly done. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. McTominay. So, Jim, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Oh, good interception. Paredes knocks it towards the front. Marco Verratti out to the flank. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Rashford. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. on the back foot it's gone a long way up and away It'll be a throw in well his stamina was called into question then but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in he was very willing though not quite able going to be a goal kick. Bruno Fernandes. Out to the left it goes. Spoon forward. Now it's Icardi. Icardi the ball through. Di Maria's delivery. Mbappe! Irrepressible! And with that goal comes comfort. Oh, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. Rashford, full tilt down the right-hand side. Looks to slip it through. Has a shot! Ronaldo with a beautifully timed run. Aimed long and direct. Now it's Icardi. Icardi conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Rashford tries a through ball. Can he score? He scored! Late drama, late goal. This will be one frantic ending. Oh my goodness, that has ripped the rigging. Well, the technique generates the power in that situation. And once power is assured, any goalkeeper's up against it. United give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. Marquinhos tries to get it forward quickly. Bruno Fernandes. Paris Saint Germain just have to run down the clock. 
McTominay pushes it out wide. Rashford crosses in a low one. He's tried one. Cristiano Ronaldo, a class apart, out on his own. We thought it was over. It's all square once more. What about that, Jim Beglin? It's a simple game. A striker's job is to find the space as often as possible, and he did exactly that. So all square with almost no time remaining. Pogba gets it back. Now it's Pogba. Rashford passes it through. Oh, he's in! They've scored! And right at the death, that surely must be the winner. And it's no accident when this kind of thing happens. Top players are elevated to such a level because they have the will to keep going and the composure to produce vital goals. Take that. Yeah, I love the finish, but I think had the pass been delayed for just a second longer, I think he would have been flagged offside. And I think you have to praise them all around on that one from the pass and the finish. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. <laughs> Having turned the game on its head, now can they hold out? There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. It's come loose. And there goes the final whistle. Quite a game, memorable for its fluctuation in fortunes and astonishing turnaround. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Paris Saint-Germain have to question their whole attitude taken into this game for me. I think the performance was lacklustre from the first whistle, and I think the atmosphere suffered on it too, and I think for them, this was one to forget. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me, and to wish you all...